What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at filtering events and venues for our MyClub app with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at filtering our events and our venues. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships on my courses, videos, and books. For one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we looked at deleting events and venues. In this video, I want to look at ordering these things. So you can see there's no real order here. This one starts with a C, this one starts with an A. They're definitely not in alphabetical order for our, our venues. Our events, uh, really, it's, eh, sort of in alphabetical. No, there's a C. So they're not in alphabetical order there. We could order them by date, we could order them by name, we could order them by all kinds of different things. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code for this video and all the videos in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Django videos in this series. Okay, so let's head over to our views.py file. And there's probably several different ways you can order things. But the easiest way is using an order by filter when we query the database. So if we head back over here really quickly, Let's look at our events first. So this is the events page. So we want to look for the view that we used for that. And let's see, let's kind of look through here, update event, update venues, search venues, da, 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 all events, there we go. So here is where we're querying the database, right? We're saying, hey, go to the event model or event table and grab everything, assign it to this variable. And then we're just passing this variable onto the page. And if we head over to our templates, and that's going to be event list.html, we're then just looping through that event list and just putting them on the screen, right? We're just kind of putting them on the screen in the order that they're coming out of the database, which at this point is just the order that they went into the database, basically. So, like I said, we could change this around by using a filter. So come down here, and at the end of this, we can slap in a filter. Now, Python is object oriented which means we can just slap another period and do other things, other object oriented type things like order underscore by, and this is a function. And inside of here, we just place whatever we want to order these things by. Now, what do we have to choose from? Well, let's head over to our models.py file and let's look at the event model here. So we have name, we have event date, we have venue, we have manager description and attendees. We can order by any of these things. So for instance, if we want to order by name, if we want to make this alphabetical, we can order by name. So we just come in here and type in name. So if we save this, let's head back over here and take a look at this. So, so now if we look here, here's alien parade, that's the name. Here's softball at the park. So it's a S this is a charity. So C T right. So A S C T. If we hit reload now, you see everything has changed. A, a C S T. So you notice, this is now in alphabetical order, and it wasn't before. So that's really easy. Now, what if we wanted an opposite of alphabetical order? So let's say we want the T to be first, followed by the S, followed by the C, followed by the A in parade. Well, we could just head back over here and slap a negative sign in the name. So boom, that means do the opposite. So we can come back over here, hit reload, boom. Now test event at City Park is in first place, right? Very cool and very easy. And like I said, we can do this with everything in the model. Now, I'll show you a couple other neat little tricks you can do. Now, this is City Park, City Park, the venue, Las Vegas High, Area 41. So we can also do more than one query here, or more than one sort of filter. We can just slap a comma in here and also do venue. So if we save this, head back over here. Remember, venue is one of the fields. It kind of foreign keys to this other venue model here, but that's okay. So now if we head back over here, test, uh, let's see, let's just hit reload and see what happens. Test, softball, charity, alien parade. Okay, nothing has really changed here uh, because it just worked out that way. But anyway, you get the idea. You can use a secondary one. If you have a long list, it makes it easier to see those changes. We've only got a couple of things listed here. so. 
obviously that's how that works. So instead of name, let's play around with this. Let's try this by event date. So we can head back over here. We can slap this in here. Now it should filter by event date. And if we hit reload, boom, now that changes. Now February 24th, 27th, April 23rd, April 23rd again, just that easy. And we can do the same thing with venues. So if we head back over here, and let me just sort of copy this thing, and we search for our venues. So let's see, add venue, list venue. Again, we could pop this on here, order by. Now we're not gonna wanna change this by event date, because our model for our venues is a little different. We've got name, address, zip code, phone number, website address, and email address. So let's, I don't know, let's just stick with name, that's easy. Save this, head back over here, hit reload, boom, now they're in alphabetical order. So very cool and really easy. And like I said, you can always order by anything in your model, any field that you have. So that's always gonna be, you know, any of these things. So name, address, zip code, phone, web, email address. You can order by any of those things. Very cool and uh, just that easy. So what if we want just random order? We don't wanna order it at all, but we don't want it to be the way they came into the database. We want it just to be random. Well, we can do that too. So let's see, let's come here. Let's do it with our venues because that'll be easier to see. We can just do this and put a question mark in there. So if we save this, now, every time we reload this page, it's gonna be sort of randomized. So Las Vegas High School Gym is first, we hit reload again, now it's City Park. We hit reload again, Area 41, City Park again, right? City Park again, and it's just randomizing it every time you search. Now this could be a little bit database intensive. It's you know pulling a lot of resources to randomize these in this way. There may be a better way to randomize these things after you pull them out of the database. If you wanna write a little randomization Python, code to do that, that might be better if you've got a huge database and you're pulling in all of these things and randomizing them on the database level. But for smaller things like this, where we're just doing, you know, a few things or even, you know, a page of things, I don't think that's a problem to use the little question mark to just randomize it from the database right itself. And that's pretty cool. So that's ordering by. Uh, ordering by is sort of one thing you could filter for with the database. And probably over time, we're gonna talk about other filters and things that you can do when working with the database, but ordering by is a sort of easy one to wrap our brains around. And so I figured we'd knock that one out first and uh, pretty easy. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. It pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.